welcome to our next Q&A session all about fasting. Today I have the pleasure to speak to Dr. Jose Manuel Garcia Verdugo, who is the medical director of the Buchinger Wilhelmi Fasting Clinic in Marbella. Hello Dr. Garcia Verdugo and thank you very much for taking the time to answer one of the questions our followers are having about fasting. Hello, good morning, thank you for calling me and I hope I can help you with the, this uh, general question. I'm very sure. Thank you very much uh, already. So the question for today is about fasting and inflammation. And the very uh, question is, can long-term fasting help with inflammation like tendonitis? And if so, would you suggest a particular type of fasting? Well, you know, the story of uh, Buchinger behind me fasting began with Dr. Buchinger because he was very ill with uh, after a, a big, uh, very severe process of the tonsils. And then he got uh, polyarthritis and he was nearly unable to, to work, to, to move. And then a friend of uh, him recommended to go to uh, Heidelberg and then he was doing the first 19 days fasting and he cured completely. That was the, 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 the beginning of the movement because he decided to, to study what happens with our body when we don't eat, that we heal many things. Well, it's clear that the uh, long-term fasting is the most anti-inflammatory process that we can do for all these illnesses, not only for the tendons, also for the joints. We have many, many, many people with uh, uh, polyarthritis and all kinds of rheumatic diseases improving a lot. We always recommend between two and three weeks minimum. And the effect is very good. And also because during this time you have also the exercise, you have a special massage, all kinds of treatments, you can do acupuncture, so many things you can do also extra, not only with the fasting. That's why the, the improvement is very clear. But in general, uh, in two, three days, the patient begins to feel that he can move much better. For example, people with hands very stiff, they say, I can move it again, and walking, and you see the inflammation coming down. So it's very, very, I recommend really to someone who suffers from any of these joint problems to try fasting because I think that will be very, very positive. So of course you're the doctor of the clinic in Marbella. Most likely you recommend everybody to come to the clinic to fast under medical supervision. If somebody uh, cannot make it or would like to test maybe first steps on his or her own, is there any way of fasting you recommend uh, those people for at home use? Well, you know, I always say you should be always in touch with your doctor. In some countries, like in France, they make this uh, uh, paramedical fastings like walking and, and, and in Germany you have also help with the uh, high practical, but always try to do, especially if it's the first one, I recommend you to do in a, in a good place. And then when you know how to do it, then perhaps you can do it at home, but always under medical supervision, because some of these patients, they have very strong medicaments. So if they know how to stop or not, of well, it's always uh, easy when you have, you're in good hands. That's for sure. Uh, is uh, intermittent fasting like 16-8 or 5-2 something people can do by themselves yeah. without medical supervision? Yeah, that, that is uh, easier, uh, but always if they feel something strange immediately, please contact the doctor. Okay, very good. Thank you very much for taking the Thank time. You. Thanks everybody for watching and uh, in case you have any questions, feel free to post below this video and get in touch with us and wishing everybody a great day. See you soon. Bye bye.